Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's your favorite girl once again Liz. If this is your first time of watching me, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and also comment in the comment section below. I love you guys so much for returning subscribers, thank you all so 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 much. So thank god the government is finally easing the lockdown very soon, very very soon corona will be over and we will no longer be scared to go to schools to attend our favorite parties and weddings. So once you want to attend any party and you want to look unique this is what you should go for i believe that this look comes out really really nice so in this tutorial today i'm going to be using two fabrics a satin fabric and also an ashoke so the first thing i did was to fold the edges of the fabric thereafter i made pleats on her head after that i came i came in with my ashoke so it's very very important that whenever you want to tie any gilly at all or any fabric at all you fold the edges so that it doesn't look rough at the front so i'm going to make sure that this comes out as a v-shape i will be linking some of my videos down just in case you do not you do not know how to create a v-shape in front it's very very simple in fact easy busy it's not difficult at all so after creating my V shape at the front I'm going to bring one hand of my ashoke to the front and I'm just going to make pleats I'm going to make my infinity pleats at the front so I want to briefly tell you get you guys that if you want to create a V shape at the front although like I said I'll be linking some of my videos down here so that you guys can also watch but if you want to create a V shape at the front just make sure that one hand of the fabric goes behind your ear or that of your models while the other hand comes to the front and stays on top of her ear so you're taking one hand of the fabric behind her ear her ear and bringing the other hand of the fabric to the front on top of her ear it creates a V shape in the front so i'm still making my pleats right now but at this point i'm done i'm just going to quickly arrange the pleats properly so that they look nice and well laid after arranging them i'm just going to pick i'm, I'm going to pick the pleats at the middle of her head i'm going to just pick it there and pin it so that everything stays in place it looks good and it doesn't unravel at any point at this point you can actually use a thread and needle and just stitch everything there so that it's it's more secured for you and then after picking i'm going to pick the remaining part of the gilly and i'm just going to create plates the way you can see me do in this video guys just make sure that you watch and once you follow these simple steps I actually call them simple because if you follow them properly it's not going to be difficult for you don't forget to watch keenly so that you can be able to easily get what I'm doing I love creating ruffles because they come out really beautiful and nice. So this point of the gilly is where the beauty actually lies. You really have to take your time 
in doing it so that everything comes out beautiful and while creating your ruffles you want to make sure that you paint so that it doesn't unravel at all So at this point guys, what I'm doing basically is to make sure that I arrange my ruffles properly so that it looks really neat and beautiful and so that it doesn't unravel. So guys, after doing that, you want to make sure that you take one hand of the ashoki that is left, you want to twist that along with the satin fabric. The way you can see me do in the video, I'm just going to twist the both hands together. So guys, once you're done, take that particular hand to the back of the ruffle and just pin it there. You want to make sure that everything looks neat and that there is no patch to work. So just place it behind the ruffle. So at this point, my satin fabric is still remaining, it's still really, really long. I'm just going to create ruffles on top the green ashoki that I have. The way you can see, I'm just going to create ruffles around the green ashoki on her head. When doing this, you can actually come out with any combination that you like. Just come out with any combination and there are also some combinations that do not match, that don't really come out really beautiful. So you have to look for very good colors and also colors that match. It's very important. So this is my own little <laughs> Christmas combination and it's actually beautiful. Green and red goes very very well. So at this point, I'm done creating the ruffles on top of the green gilly. I'm just going to be arranging everything. So once you're done, there's still one hand of the red fabric left. You just have to make sure that you take that hand to the back of her head and pin it. I do love you guys so so much I do hope that this tutorial has been helpful if it has please please don't forget to subscribe like share and also comment in the comment section guys do not forget to share I love it when you guys share thank you all for watching and also don't forget to turn on your notification buttons so that each time I post you will definitely be the first to know I love you guys so much and I just can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye-bye!